space the final frontier well actually no space is something that we all need and i'm talking about space for our files now we've got dropbox we've got google drive but suddenly i saw that we also have desk first now this is on app Sumo right now as a lifetime deal well, how do i describe desk first well i said it to the founder it's kind of like a uh, dropbox but with a sexy interface. And he was like, mm, maybe, maybe not. But I'm gonna go with that idea of Dropbox with a sexy interface. Now, what does Desk First do? Let me share my screen and show you exactly what it looks like. So it looks like, well, a desktop. And you can upload all of your files like you would do on Dropbox, but it allows you to access them in a more familiar way. Now, I decided to create folders and start uploading stuff. So let's have a look. If I go into graphics, this shows me all of the graphics. And if I just go into, for example, my social media kit, I can double click on that file and I can see exactly what it is. And I can see all of the files in there. If I want to download it, I can download it there. Or I could easily right click and say, edit image. And I can go in and I can do some little editing, which is really, really good. Or I can say download, or I can say rename, I can delete. I could leave a comment on it as well to say, uh, really like it. Now, hold on a second. You can leave comments on your files. Well, yes, so the idea here is not to be just Dropbox or a storage facility, but a collaboration tool. So you can share your desktop with somebody, and I'll show you that just in a second, and they can collaborate and they can add comments, etc. depending on the tier that you're on. The idea here is that not only can you store things, but you can also get people to upload, to download, to make comments, etc. Now, one of the things that I've decided to do is try and organize my life a little bit. So one of the things, and it shocked me, was I decided to have links to all of the software that I've bought. And you can see there's a lot of AppSumo software that I bought, but this allows me to simply click on this link and it will open up that particular piece of software. Now, why is this useful? Because I always forget what I bought and then I go looking for the software and I can't find it. Now, what else have I done? Um, I've put in, for example, coaching, uh, coaching stuff, I love the name of it, that I want to have. So these are all different coaching tools that I have. And if I want to, for example, look at the PowerPoint, I can double click and it will actually download it for me. But if I want to open a JPG, it will show it to me there. And if I want to open a PDF, it will open it up here like that for me and I can download it as well. So that is really, really useful. Now, I have other desktops that I've created and I have one called English Stuff. And if I open up this English Stuff, these are all of my files that I need or need to have access to at any time. So if I go into my classes, I see all of my uh, information here, all of my folders. If I go into resources, I have all of my resources here and I can open them or download them. Now you might be asking, well, why is this easier than, for example, iCloud? Well, because with iCloud, a lot of the times, the files that I have, I don't have them downloaded. I mean, I have them stored in iCloud and in order to get them, I have to download them, open them up, etc. Whereas here, all I need is a browser and everything is organized really well and it's very visual. So to me, Desk First is a great organizational tool. It allows you to upload all of your files that you want to have and then create all the different desktops here. So if I can go back to uh, Richard's desktop, I can just flick back there and I can start working there. Now, if I go to desktop manager, what you will actually see here is that I can decide how much of the storage that I have and I can reallocate storage to that desktop. So I can uh, say, well, I want to increase this up to 46 gigs 
and that allows me to store 46 gigs worth of information on that particular desktop. If I want to create a new desktop, I go into new, I enter a name, and I decide to allocate a certain amount of storage. Now, here's where the fun starts. When I go to share, I have two options. I can invite people or share links. If I share a link, this is for someone to view the contents, but not to edit it in any way. So I can go in here and I can say sample, and I can say generate a viewing link. And that will generate a link. And what you'll see here is that the link will actually expire after a certain amount of time. So if you were showing something to a client, you could have it expire after seven days, 14 days, 30 days, 60 or 90 days. Now, when I say expire, it means the link will no longer work. It doesn't mean that the desktop will expire. Now, what is invite people? Well, if you have tier two or tier three, which I will be upgrading to, you can actually set this up so that people can actually go into the desktop and they can actually have longer access to the desktop. So it's like you want to collaborate with your team. Now, I can set the person up as a viewer or an editor, and it says here, you can view, download, upload, move, and delete data, but cannot create new invites or shareable links. Whereas with the viewer, you can view and download data. So this is kind of similar to how you actually share the link. However, if you want to give somebody full access, you can have them as a manager and they will be able to do all of the things that they want, which is invite new people and create shareable links. So if you have a VA working with you, for example, you can invite them to the desktop as an editor and then they can upload all of the information for you. And as I say, it gives you organization. It means that, for example, I was thinking I could share a link with my mom and then I could have a desktop for her with all of the links that she wanted and I could control them and I could help her uh, with all of these things. Are there any downsides to this app? Well, it's a great question. The only concern that I would have is if the company, like any uh, lifetime deal that I buy, if the company uh, goes bust, all of the data that you have up here and organized will actually be lost. Now, we don't know whether that's going to happen or not. We hope that it won't. And the founder said that they're here for the long run. So that can be one concern that people would have. Um, I have Dropbox, I have iCloud, I have Google Drive, and I have everything backed up in different areas just to be sure, to be sure, to be sure, as we say in Ireland. But I'm betting my money that this is going to be a really good LTD. Obviously, I can't look into the future, but I really do think it's going to be something that people are going to love and they're actually going to get a lot of uh, customers after their AppSumo deal. Now, the only other downside that I would say to this is that if I want to upload all of the resources again, and maybe I've deleted some resources and I've added some PDFs, etc. When I go to click and drag these files up, it actually creates a new folder. So it'll call it resource one. This is something I have asked the founder if they can fix so that it would be able to check the contents of the folder and only incrementally update the folder. So only update anything that has uh, been added rather than having to upload everything else. Oh, and of course, how do you upload things? Well, let me show you that. So if I want to upload something, I just grab the file and I drag it up here and it starts to upload here. And you can see that it's uploaded. Now, one of the things that I found is if you have a lot to upload, I mean, yesterday I was really pushing this and I was uploading six gigs of information. Uh, because of the way it's set up at the moment, I've been told that this is going to change, uh, the page does time out. So what I did instead was I created the resources folder and then I just dragged a number of folders at a time over so that it wouldn't overwhelm. Obviously, I mean, with any service, if you're trying to upload 6, 10, 15 gigs, uh, there may be problems with it. If I want to move this, I can right click and I can just cut it or what I can actually do is I can just go in here 
and I can just click and drag it like that. So it really is like a virtual desktop. Um, if I want to create a new shortcut, I go into shortcut, I type in the name and I paste in the URL. If I want to star something, so uh, it's very, very important, I just put a star there. And then if I want to look at all the starred items, I just click here and it shows me all the starred files and folders. If I want to delete something, so I go in here and I don't want this, I can just say delete. Or if I want to download it because uh, I want to use it and edit it, I can just uh, click on download. So let me just uh, delete this here. Now, if I go here to quick actions, you will see that I can upload files just by clicking here and it uh, brings up your standard upload box. I can create a new folder, a new shortcut. I can actually create a sticky note. Now, sticky notes won't be visible if you're looking at it from your cell phone or your mobile phone. So I might say, uh, make sure to finish and edit video. Okay, so that's a little sticky note that I have and I can just reposition that there and I can fold that up like that and I can actually then open it up as well just like that and I can change the color of that sticky note if I want. So that is a lovely little touch as well so that you can remember uh, things. I can arrange the icons, I can do customization so I can change the actual background here if I wish, I can change the color and I can put my branding. So what I've actually done is I've just put my logo on this particular desktop that I have back to quick actions and what I can do is I can rename the desktop, I can reset it back to the way it was, or I can look at desktop information and it will tell me that this is the name, who the owner is, the capacity of it, um, how much capacity I've actually used, and how many invites and shareable links I can actually have on this. So let's recap. For me, desk first is, and sorry if you're looking at this Omer, uh, but I really like to think of it as Dropbox with a beautiful interface. Um, de uh, desk first is a collaboration tool where you can upload your files, share them with people. You can give them access to upload, download, etc. depending what you want to actually do. And it's just a really good tool to have because I mean, if I go back here and I go to Richard's desk, I have everything that I need. I have all my tax information here. Again, security is paramount, but they do have uh, good security, so they've told me. Um, so obviously, if you have your uh, celebrity photos and your sex tapes and all that, don't put them up here just in case. Never put anything that personal on the cloud. Should I have my tax stuff on it? Good question. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. But you can just go in here. And now whenever I want to find my business tools, I say, ah, video and music. Ah, here's the tool, uh, Content Groove, Crystal Sounds. You'll see I've been buying a lot. Persona, Pipio, Tuni, uh, VidTags, I bought a lot. But it means that I can just click on this item and then I can go off to the actual website. So to me, this is a really good buy because we always need storage and when you can make the storage look this beautiful, I mean, why not? So if you're interested, there is a link in the description and I will talk to you in the next video. Oh, and make sure that you ring that bell, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, all the usual stuff. Talk to you again soon.